drop the brace. Hey guys, Mike here from Full House RS, and welcome to week 5 of Barrow's Bounty, my Barrow series, where I am attempting to get every single item from the Barrow's chest. Uh, although I can't technically get them all right now, I can't get Akrase, but I will be adding him into the future. But anyway, this is week 5, and this week I only have 3 items. As the title says, I'm going for quality over quantity this week, and... Sometimes it's going to happen. Sometimes you're just not going to get that many items. But hopefully the items you do get are something that are pretty good or something that I didn't have yet. So what is it this week? Let's get right into the items real quick. So I definitely knew this week was going to be a great week when I have got my first item and I didn't even record it. Because for some reason I thought Fraps was open and it wasn't, I only have this picture of the first item of the week, which is a Guthans plate body. So, Guthans plate body is around 450k, but it's an item I haven't had. So, it's actually a medium good item to get because of the price, so I'm welcoming it since, you know, I didn't have it before. It's a good, good thing. But for the second item of the week, I definitely was recording, and thank god I was recording too, because I got another Aram's book. So that makes Aram's book number three, and I could not be more excited about it. I was actually laughing for like five minutes because I couldn't believe I got another one. And the prices have actually gone up. I sold it for 14.55 mil, so it's gone up a little bit, and I'm not sure if it's going to keep going up, so that's why I sold it off really quick. And for the third and final item of the week is another item that I'm actually pretty happy about, and it is a Carol's Pistol Crossbow. So this is actually the last of the new items that I needed to get, that is the offhands and mayhands for the Aram's weapons and the Carol's weapons. So it, I'm pretty happy about it, and I was testing to see how much it sold for, and it sold for 3.5, so about 200k under its GE price, so it's about stable at the moment for some reason. So when we look at the stats up on the screen right now, we added two items this week, which is a decent amount of items to add, and we still haven't got a full set yet. We haven't gotten a, a, every item from one Barrow Brother yet. But I am thinking that it's going to happen soon. I mean, we're one item away from Carol, and we're two items away from Aram. So you know how much Carol and Aram like us, so chances are we're going to get something. If not, I, I would always be happy getting something from Varric, since we have the least from him, or anything from the other Barrow Brothers to even out some of the other items that we've been getting. Or uh, you can give me another Aram's book game. I really do like those Aram books. So as per usual, it is time for us to check how much money that we have gotten from our items in Barrows. So let's quick throw this up here. Uh, this one is not. Uh, that is the one I bought. So I gotta make sure. Like I, I know what I have gotten and what I haven't because I've kept track of it in the document that I have in the description if you want to see how many runs I've done or what items that I got back to back, which I don't think I've got any items back to back yet. But it's bound to happen eventually. Uh, let's get the runes out. I don't keep track of the runes on the document, but I do keep track in here because anything that I get, like on Slayer Task or something, I sell. So these are all items just from Barrows. Throw these in there. And now we need the money, which I have right here. 66.4 mil out of my, uh, my money. It's... It's looking so nice. It feels nice to have that much. 66.4. And that's how much I've gotten from Barrows. So we do a quick withdraw, or not withdraw, price check. I'm probably going to have to close the screen. Yep. And let's throw these in here. All of them in here. I don't... I just want all. Wish there was an all button, like right here. Just put all stuff in your inventory right here. Although people would probably say, just use your on death thing. It's like, but I don't want to use my on death thing. I want to use this. And boom. We have made 95.17 mil from Barrows. So that is a very nice amount for how easy Barrows is, how fun it is, and how it's a mid-level thing. It's not a high-level bossing thing. It's pretty much made for level 140s, 150s. Because uh, anything with 60-something stats, you're supposed to be able to do Barrows, be able to get the next highest armor that you can work for. So 
it, it's re- really good money maker for me at least and i'm sure it would be good for other people uh let's see what some prices of these items are uh carol's skirt is about the same as what it was uh aram's hood has gone up quite a bit carol's coif is i it's ridiculous how much it went up axe is pretty much the same brassy's going down uh aram's went down a little bit but i think it's stabilizing carol's crossbow is about the same the same this fluctuates it goes i i saw, saw it 900k at one point but now it's gone back down let me grats ranger rick and my clan Grats on 90 mining. All right. And these two, I'm not quite sure. Plate legs, I think, have gone up. That's weird. And look at these blood runes. That's a lot of blood runes. All right, so enough about that. Taking in my new amount of barrel runs that I've done and how much money I have made now, I am still making 3.01-ish mil per hour at Barrows, assuming that I do four and a half minute barrow runs, which is about the norm. It's, it usually doesn't go over five minutes unless I'm like AFKing or something or have to go get a drink or, you know, stuff like that where I'm not actually focusing on getting the Barrows run done as fast as possible. So it's really good money. I mean, I don't know why people don't like barrows as much you can get the crap items but you can still get a lot of runes if you keep doing it look at all these runes these are worthless and these are kind of worthless but these are very nice to have so i don't see why people don't do it more some of my friends have started doing it that i didn't think would actually enjoy barrows as much and they've started to really get into it so it's it's good to see that people are enjoying this mini game that i enjoy so much But that ends the episode for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, this is Mike from Full House RS, and I will see you next time.